salutations, friends. It's your pal, said Stevie, and I'm pretty stoked because I just got in a package from my homie Sharif, and it contains his prototype. Yup. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, before we do that, uh, if you guys could, please consider giving the video a like and subscribe and share and all that good nonsense. But uh, let's get into this box with the Kaiser Graziasso. Uh, this is one of Sharif's uh, designs, Mangana Steel Concepts. Uh, love this knife. Carry this a bunch, and it's got a stupid sharp edge on it from Klingon Works Quality Sharpening. So let's slice into this bad boy here. You did a good job at taping this up. Nothing that this edge can't... Look at how that just slices right through there. All right. Ooh, I hope I didn't... I don't think I did. Okay. All right. So there's a couple of things in here. Uh, the This is... Oh, right. Uh, I had let Sharif borrow my... What is this? Spiderco smock. And he sent that back to me. But most importantly, we have this. Look at that. So, all right, I nicked, I nicked the package, Sharif. You're going to have to uh, put me in timeout. Don't tell Vince. Um, yeah, so uh, prior to doing his own uh, run of knives... Uh, he has just designed for uh, other companies. Uh, obviously, uh, Kaiser uh, with the Graziasso. Uh, we got the uh, Kube Momentum, which is one of my absolute favorite knives. Carry this quite a bit. Uh, and then he's also done with uh, Kube V Ruckus. See his maker's mark there. Uh, these are all very carried knives, so uh, they are a bit dirty. And then last but certainly not least, I believe this was his first design, the Veloce. Uh, Kube did a great job on this. This is the V2 that's an S90V, and yeah, this knife is phenomenal in itself. But uh, so Sharif has been... Um, you know, designing for some other uh, companies. And he has a ton of his own uh, designs uh, already conceptualized. So he decided that uh, he would come out with his first uh, branded knife. And this is it. So this is the packaging that it's going to come in here. Uh, this nice slide box. You see... Uh, his maker's mark is definitely featured on all the packaging here. And what shall this reveal? Ooh, more. What, what do we got here? We got a, uh, oh, nice. So uh, we got a, a wiping cloth with the Mangana's uh, steel logo on there as well. And then we got the pouch. Ooh, there's some stickers in there. Do I get to keep a couple stickers, Sharif? Sweet. I won't keep them all. These are probably going to be for the pass arounds, but I want at least one or two. Pretty please. All right, so a uh, very nice packaging up front uh, for sure. Uh, if you haven't guessed already, the OEM on this is Kaiser. Uh, you can tell by the uh, packaging, pretty much. Uh, so, uh, finally, we'll be in this uh, nice pouch with a uh, Mangana's patch on there. Nice, strong Velcro pouch. And look at that. Oh, yes! All right, so this is the Kaimano. Holy moly. Uh, this is the variant that's in... Uh, purple haze fat carbon. Uh, so, already knowing what the specs were, 
Uh, and this is going to be more of just a first impressions video, and I'll run down some stuff, but I'm not going to get too in detail uh, quite yet. But uh, so I've known about this for quite some time. He's uh, shared a bunch of stuff with us uh, behind the scenes on this as he's going through it. And then, uh, you know, his videos that he's uh, put out on it. But uh, for some reason, I expected it to be a little bit smaller. Uh, this is not a small knife by any means. Um, yeah, but holy moly. Uh, so you have uh, blasted uh, titanium uh, bolsters, I guess. Uh, very similar to what you have on the uh, Graziasso there. Uh, you have this awesome purple haze. Uh, is it camel carbon or fat carbon? Uh, my, uh, inlay, overlay uh, scale here. You got a nice uh, 3D uh, backspacer. Uh, it does appear that this is going to have a reversible uh, option for your uh, pocket clip there. Uh, milled 3D uh, pocket clip. Uh, flipper tab uh, for deployment. And you have a slot there with, it appears to be, some very good jimping. So uh, let's stop uh, pussyfooting around and let's give it a flick. Ooh, nice stiff detent. Nice. And when I say stiff, it's not overly stiff. It's it's good. It's good. So uh, let's take a look at that blade. A nice uh, Tanto uh, compound grind. Look at that hollow grind on there. I believe this is a uh, 3.6 inch blade. Uh, these are going to be an S35VN. Um, I think he's working with transparent knives to uh, dial in what the uh, HRC is on here. Look at that nice stabby pokey point. He loves his stabby knives. So it's uh, no surprise whatsoever that um, this design features that. A uh, very nice uh, uh, slot there. Uh, looks like we probably have a captured uh, pivot. Uh, let's check out what those uh, screws are. They appear to be uh, T6. Uh, what I like about the screws already is, so yes, they are T6. Um, they are countersunk into the scale. They don't sit proud at all. So they are the button head style screws, but uh, they do melt into the uh, scale there. Uh, more of the same on the side. I got to assume that that's a T8 on the pivot. Let's check that. Yes, yes, T8 on the pivot. Um, then you see uh, his maker's mark there on the clip side of the blade, but uh, this nice satin finished blade is, it's, it's wicked. It's wicked. As I mentioned, uh, this is a bolster lock, um, kind of a sub frame lock. Is that what it's called? Or a bolster lock? Uh, appears to have mm, the uh, cutout for the uh, lock bar is on the inside. Doesn't appear to have any internal milling. Uh, it is, a, it, there is some heft to this for sure. Um, ergos, oh man. Uh, ergos are money. I do feel the pocket clip somewhat, uh, but I would not say that it's a hot spot by any means. Um, that jimping is in the exact right spot. Sorry, folks, I am recording outside and it's garbage day, so that's probably why you, uh, the lighting is a little off, too. It's kind of overcast today and you're going to get some background noise because uh, the garbage man is on uh, the prowl. Um, but uh, as I was saying, the jimping is done really well. I'm locked in for sure. Uh, everything appears to be rounded off uh, and chamfered really well. I don't feel any uh, sharp edges by any means. Um, even in the uh, slot there. 
it's nice and chamfered and rounded off. It's actually rounded off really nicely. Uh, so that's not going to uh, be rough on you at all. Um, you got some, uh, you do feel the jimping of the uh, flipper tab there a little bit, but I would say that um, this, I feel a little bit on there when I'm bearing down, but I wouldn't call that a hot spot, but I feel it. Uh, I'll talk to him about that. Uh, maybe that can be rounded just a little bit more. I don't know. Um, but uh, I would not call it a hot spot. Some people might, though. Uh, right now, ergos um, feel really good. I don't have the full specs, but I have to assume uh, that this is a at least a 4.3-ish inch uh, handle because I got a full 4 on it. Um, if I want to uh, choke up, uh, there's, you know, really just a sh sharpening choil there. But I kind of got this flat that I can ride up into there. And I got kind of this poon uh, that I can uh, choke up into. And I'm bearing down on this and I'm not worried about cutting myself at all. So uh, no problems there. Uh, some nice uh, kind of jimping to the uh, lock bar itself. Uh, Lockup seems to be pretty solid, and uh, this is riding on caged ceramic bearings. The centering is dead nuts, as lefty EDC would say. Um, detent for the flipper. Snappy. It's very snappy. Uh, we got zero blade play uh, back and forth. Up and whoa! It's also windy out. I'm out in the elements, folks, uh, but I got no up and down or side to side at all. Uh, let's see uh, how the action is. Uh, easy, easy access to the lock bar. The way he has the uh, cutout done on this, you can access this no problem. And ew, this wants to just, yeah. That's a, it's a beefy blade, so it wants to just fall right on your thumb. Uh, I would say that the detent is nailed. And can we get a little... Listen to that. Listen. There's a little bit of a... There it is. A little bit of a thwack. A little bit of a ting. Uh, the action on this, uh, I don't think could be any better. Can I get it with my thumb? I can. So the slot is very usable uh, for the thumb. Uh, you can absolutely uh, middle finger flick this. And the flipper tab, uh, jimping is perfect. Listen to that. Uh, yeah. So, as I mentioned, uh, Sharif is a homie. Uh, I'd say a pretty darn good homie at this point. Uh, we talk pretty much every day. Uh, I'm in a, a couple of chats uh, groups with Sharif. And I've gotten to know him really well. Uh, he is a friend. You see him on uh, all the different lives with us. He comes on Late Night with Said Faction. He goes on Maddie's lives. He comes on uh, Said Stevie lives. Uh, that being said, uh, Sharif doesn't get the uh, I'm blind to any uh, imperfections uh, just because you're a homie. Um, but right now, as is... This knife is great. It's great. There's nothing about this that I don't like. Um, as I mentioned, uh, is there something a little bit going on uh, right here? It is a little sharp uh, for sure. Um, it's not It's not a hot spot for me, but I could see that maybe someone could say that. It is just a little sharp right there. Um, I can feel the pocket clip, but uh, I don't have any problems with this pocket clip whatsoever. Um, the jimping is great. Uh, the fit and finish that uh, Kaiser did on this is awesome. And his design is just, it's, it's what I'm into. So, um, if anything, uh, maybe this is just because this is just a prototype, uh, folks. Um, I would like to see the pivot kind of match the 
uh, Graziasso here if possible. Instead of just this plain flat uh, dome style, I'd like to see, you know, a little bit of a flat on there. I just think it would class up the, um, the knife a little bit. And then there are, uh, the, the problem that you get when you have a reversible pocket clip is you have all those extra screws in there. And so I understand why they are there. Uh, from an aesthetics point, ugh. again, I think it just, uh, it messes up the aesthetics a little bit, but I can live with that. Uh, if, um, I think that maybe getting those changed to some black screws might hide it a little bit better. I don't know. Uh, but all that being said, those are just minor, minor things. This is great. This is great. Uh, Sharif, um, congratulations. I think this is going to do really well. Uh, let's do some size comparisons uh, for you folks. So I got them all out. Why not? Uh, here it is against the Ruckus. Uh, here it is against the uh, Veloce. So you can see it's definitely, uh, I guess, lengthwise in a blade shape or a blade length and handle length. It's closer to the uh, Ruckus there, or excuse me, the uh, Veloce. Uh, here it is against the uh, Graziasso. So much beefier knife than the Graziasso. And then here it is against the uh, Momentum. So again, this is a beefy knife. It's uh, not small by any means. And that's exactly uh, what Sharif is into. Uh, so um, yeah, this is not going to be a small dainty knife. This was designed to be an absolute user. And I can see uh, with the way this uh, compound grind is and this tanto is, this is going to be an extremely uh, useful uh, blade. And, man, I don't know what else to tell you, folks. Uh, it's, it's, I love it. I think that uh, anyone that knows the style of knives that I'm into that's been following my channel uh, long enough or uh, seen, uh, you know, what I'm into on Instagram... This should come no surprise that this style of knife is right up my alley. Um, it's exactly what uh, I look for in a knife. Uh, it's got, you know, uh, everything that I'm looking for in a knife. And it's executed very well. And listen, I love that. The, the acoustics are not an important functionality of a knife at all. However, it's dope when uh, you get some good acoustics. So, uh, hold on, I'm gonna cough. I don't wanna cough on camera. Sorry, folks. But yeah, so uh, he's already sent a couple of revisions, I believe, to uh, Kaiser. There is a prototype V2 that's coming. Um, I'm not entirely sure what uh, all that's gonna be. Uh, however, God, stop bouncing around, camera. Sorry, folks. But uh, the other thing I want to mention is this is going to be uh, right around the $250 price mark. So it's not outrageous by any means. Um, and I think that it's going to do really well for uh, Sharif. Just everything uh, is done really well. Uh, the packaging... Um, you know, I think it's a great uh, presentation. Uh, he's including the wiping cloth. I know that uh, he's teasing maybe some other goodies uh, if you get in on the pre-order and whatnot. But, yeah, uh, I'm really, really stoked that this turned out this well. It would have sucked if this arrived and I didn't like it and I had to tell him that I didn't like it. But I've gone over everything. Uh, ergos are money. Um, ergos are absolute money. Um, you know, uh, this this works for me, for my uh, double XL uh, hand. Um, is it, how lefty friendly uh, is it? Can I middle finger flick it lefty? I can. Thumb wise, I'm not good with them. 
works no problem. Uh, so it's going to be very uh, lefty uh, friendly. Um, everything about it is uh, good. Uh, if he, Sharif doesn't like uh, fidgety knives, but if you want to fidget with this, you can. Uh, the action on this is great. The uh, flipper tab is, it's not, can I, can I fail it? I mean, that's as light as I can go without purposely, I have to try to, okay. I had intentionally tried to fail that, but just the lightest depress, depression of the uh, flipper tab. It's good to go. The middle finger flick. Yeah. And holy shit, it's starting to rain out of the blue. So I have to get uh, everything uh, cleaned up and out of here. So uh, that's it, folks. Uh, I got to end the video because it is starting to rain. Uh, please don't forget to give this a like. Uh, you can subscribe right there. Uh, you can like that video and everything will be linked in the description uh, to follow Sharif. And I appreciate you guys tuning in. And until the next one, I bid you mofos a deuces.